How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Backyard Baseball 2003 Tampa Bay Devil Rays season playthrough game 12 of the regular season. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. I've been having a really fun time editing these videos and uploading them for you. I'm just popping in here at the beginning of this video to let you all know that recently I looked at the channel analytics. I've been seeing how this channel is growing and how you guys have really, really been enjoying these videos and hitting that like button and all that stuff and sharing these videos. And it's awesome. But I went deeper into the analytics beyond just views and likes and comments and stuff like that. And I saw that of all y'all that view this channel, only about 10% of y'all are subscribed. That means that almost 90% of y'all that have popped in here and checked out a video, maybe even given it a like, are not subscribed to the channel. Now, I know that I don't upload that often. My upload schedule is not weekly like a lot of YouTubers. My YouTube channels are just a hobby that I have in my free time. And so often because of work and other commitments, I know that I can't upload very frequently and I'm sorry about that, but I think that's all the more reason to subscribe so y'all can be notified as to when I actually upload a video. So guys, for this video, just make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't take much. It only takes about a second to like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get into game 12. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our Backyard Baseball 2003 Tampa Bay Devil Rays season playthrough. We just had a, uh, a bit of a return to form against the Mets last week. We beat them 14 to 0, got a bunch of power-ups, had a few inside the park home runs. It was a fun game though. We are now on week 12. We are still undefeated. We are 11 and 0 and we are playing the Milwaukee Brewers at their house. As y'all can see, we have clinched a playoff berth. We actually did this a while ago, but like I said a few episodes ago, I'm pretty sure we were in the worst division in the entire league and that's why we demolished our divisional opponents so easily and had a harder time against other teams because nobody else in our division is even close to us as you can see here uh, the Orioles and the Blue Jays are tied for second place in our division and they're both four and seven seven games behind they're not even close to us so like I said I think we just got lucky with a horrible division and so that's why we were able to demolish our opponents so easily as you can see we are at Steel Stadium as well so this is a great chance to hit some dingers Obviously, we got the uh, infamous shallow center field, so it's super easy to hit home runs at this stadium. Let's see what we can do against the Brewers, man. I should also mention that they have Ernie Steele, uh, and he gets a big boost to batting because it's, it's his backyard. And they also have Richie Sexton, who is a pro, who was the Milwaukee Brewers representative in this game. But let's get into this game. We bat first. Pete Wheeler is up. And that is a quick grounder right to the pitcher, and that's going to be an easy out for them. Here is Ichiro, who had a pretty good game last week. He was 3 for 4. And that is another quick grounder right to the pitcher, and we're not making it difficult for them here in this first inning. Oh, come on. Pablo has been itching for a dinger. He's only got two home runs on the year. And there it is right there. Can that clear the bar? No, it does not, but that hits the shed anyway. Richie Sexton has it. That's a horrible throw in. Can Pablo get there? Wow. He does not. Okay. Perhaps a bad gamble there. Pablo does not reach, and uh, we get nothing in that first inning. And he goes down on the change up. Four pitches, one strikeout. Good start from Randy Johnson. So here's Gwen Sears, who's batting a pretty solid 540 on the season. That is going to be a pop up. Ackman's right there for it. Good stuff. That's going to be a pop of right to Randy Johnson, so we make quick work of them as well. Solid stuff. Here is your home run leader still, Ken Griffey Jr. He's got nine on the season. Let's try and add one more, and the, but that's going to be a pop-up. Thought he was going to kill that ball. Ernie still gets that off the rebound. All right. And that's going to be another pop-up. I, I don't know if I'm swinging too early at these or what. Second out. That's a line drive right to the pitcher, and we have no hits through two innings. Grounder right to the pitcher. Ahmed comes in. Easy out. Not a very entertaining game so far. Here's Ernie Steele, though. Pop fly right to Ahmed. Out number two. There is a grounder. Might have some confusion there. Ahmed, can he beat her to the bag? He does. Out number three, and we are already in the third inning. This game's moving pretty quick. Maybe Nomar Garcia Parra can light things up. He's been on fire lately. There's a line drive right there, but it goes right to Ernie Steele. He fumbles it, and Nomar is going to beat the throw in. So they're 
That's finally the first hit of the game. There's another line drive. This could be a double play ball. There's out number one. Out number two. We are not hitting well, guys. Randy Johnson. We know he has that sneaky power. There is a pop fly. That's not going to get anywhere. And wow, man, this has been a horrible start for us. This is probably the worst hitting start we've had since that Mariners game a few weeks ago. There's a grounder. Amir's on it. Throws it to his older brother. Out number one. Pop up. Randy Johnson. Basket catch. Out number two. And they got an underground. Remember, they have a double play. Where's this ball going to go? It is deep into right center field. Ken Griffey Jr. is not being helped out by Pablo. He's going to have to throw this one in. Decent throw in, but that's going to be a double right there for them. That's their first hit of the game. There is a bunt. Not sure why Richie Sexton did that. He's not very fast, and that's going to be out number three. So after half the game's over, we're through three innings halfway through the game. Only one hit apiece for each of these teams. Who will break this stalemate first? There's a grounder right to the first baseman. Does Pete have the speed to get that? He does. A second hit right there. That's going to be a strike. Pete is going to steal successfully. Good stuff right there. Line drive right to the pitcher. How many times have we done that today already? What the heck is going on? There's something for Pablo, but this is going to be a shallow fly ball. Why did the game have to tease me like that? Usually when it makes that sound off the bat, that's a, that's a dinger. Can Ken Griffey Jr., the home run king, finally get something going? We have a man on second. There's something right there. Can this go? This will be over the fence. It will. Number 10 on the year for Ken Griffey Jr. Finally, the tie is broken. 2-0 Devil Rays. Let's go. Line drive for Ahmed. Not a good hit. Ernie Steele picks that up. Oh, well. All right. At least we scored two. Oh, man. That is out of here. Wow. All right. Thought I pitched that low, but good hit. Solo home run. I think that's only like, what, the second that Randy Johnson has given up this year? Right, only one strikeout for Randy Johnson on 24 pitches. Can he get his second on the 25th? No, that is a dinger. That's going to be another home run. Wow, this is Randy Johnson's worst performance by far, allowing two solo home runs. It appears the bats have finally woken up. There's a bouncing ball. Ackman's going to tag up. One out. There's a line drive. Nomar gets it. That is a ground ball. Ahmed, can he beat the runner? Yes, he will. But that was not a good inning. Randy Johnson allows two home runs. There is a bouncing grounder. Can Keisha Phillips beat this? She will not. Not fast enough for that. Full count here. What's going to happen with Nomar? One out. Oh, I swung so early at that. Ugh. All right, Amir, come on. We got to break this tie yet again. Jeez, two strikeouts in a row for Melissa Waters. And all right, bottom of the fifth. So all of a sudden, the Brewers have all the momentum on their side. Watch out. Let's see some action. Randy drops it. Oh, my goodness. That is a costly error. All right, they got my man safe on first. High and inside, strikeout number two, finally for Randy Johnson. Good pitch. Strikeout number two, pardon me, number three, number two in the inning. Got him looking. Good stuff from Randy Johnson. Finally, can he finally wake up? There's a line drive. Can Amir or Nomar get that? Nomar gets it. Good stuff. No way. What? Pete, we need something. This is our last opportunity to score before extra innings. And that was probably late. All right, made her work for it, though. Got her pitch count up. But Ichiro is up to bat now, and he has had two line drives straight to the pitcher, I'm pretty sure. Ah, what do we do here? There is a line drive. That is going to be right to Ernie Steele. Best we can hope for now is extra innings, guys. All right, I'm only sticking to the edges. I'm tense, man. This is tough. Strike out number 
four for Randy Johnson. All right. All right. Let's keep this up. Right, we know these girls can hit home runs, so we need to get them out of here really quick. That's the first time the CPU has ever swung at a, at a pitch outside of the strike zone. I've never seen that before. When it's on hard difficulty, they never swing at stuff outside of the strike zone. That's why it's so difficult to pitch to them. Whoa, that is not out of here, but that's a very good hit. Shoot. Pablo's got to throw that in. Pablo, you need to throw that in. Nomar, not going to get in in time. All right, they got a man on base. Smack that line drive. Going to send it over to first. Ahmed is off the bag. We are collapsing, guys. What on earth is that? What was that? Why did Ahmed just decide to go off the bag? All right. There's one out. Nomar is going to send it over to Keisha. We get a double play. We're going in extra innings with a power up. Great throw from Nomar. I knew that if when I threw it to second, she was going to go for it. Let's go. What is this power up? It is a crazy bunt. We can abuse this one, guys. That's right. I'm going to use the crazy bunt with Pablo. Ernie Steele is going to have to chase that over. Could this turn into a triple for Pablo? Can we get this started right away? We've got some commotion. Pablo Sanchez, can we get an inside the park home run off the crazy bunt? Yes, we will. 3-2 in extra innings. Let's go. That's right. I cheese with the crazy bunt. I cheese with the power-ups. No shame. All right, Griffey. Oh, is that not going to leave the infield? Come on, don't do that to me. All right, there we go. There we go. This will be at least a double. I'm cool with that. That's all right. Got to build this lead up as much as we can. Ahmed Khan has not been hitting well lately. But he lays down that crazy bunt. Ken Griffey Jr. is going to move into third. And he's going to have to stay there. All right, we got runners at the corners, no outs. So the power-up has expired. We need as many runs as we can to score. That's going to be a uh, down. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. is gassed. I wonder how that happened. That's kind of worrisome. All right, still got runners at the corners, one out. That's going to be a pop fly. Oh, no, this is bad. Keisha Phillips, go back. All right, good. All right, runners at the corners, two outs. Amir Khan, not sure how I feel about this. Oh boy, getting nervous, y'all. We were only able to use that crazy bunt for one run. But that is a home run off a power up. Let's go, Amir Khan. So clutch. And we have the ability to extend this lead further now. And we got a screaming line drive now and they finally sub out Melissa Waters. And I lose it after one strike. Are you kidding me? Oh, this game is hating now. This game is hating. This game wants, wants me to get out of here. All right. I see you. Shouldn't have swung at that pitch, but all right, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The CPU is hating. I was not supposed to win this game, probably. It's like Madden where it's all scripted. Strikeout number five for Randy Johnson. He's come alive late in this game. Hey, the game wants to cheat him out of a crazy line drive, so he's gonna he's gonna punish it right back. Pop up, Nomar. Not in place for what are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Fielding is weird in this game. Alright, we gotta disrespect him. We gotta disrespect him. We're gonna throw this fireball. Let's see. Let's try it low and inside. Usually like the home run sweet spot. Let's try it with this fireball. Burn it down there, Randy Johnson. Game over, baby. You thought, Brewers. You thought. You thought you could cheese us out of this win. Nuh-uh. Mm-mm. You came close, but not close enough, baby. We win 6-2 to two in extra innings. All right, so let's look at those stats. 
Pitching-wise, Randy Johnson was clutch, was not pitching well. He threw, like, his first 30 or so pitches. He only had one strikeout, allowed two home runs, uh, which is not going to help his ERA out. But, you know, came alive late in the game. He got clutch when he needed to, ended up with six strikeouts. Uh, Batting-wise, Ichiro was 0 for 3. Randy Johnson was 0 for 3. Um, we just had a lot of lineouts and grounders out in the, early in the game. Nothing really happened until uh, King Griffey Jr. hit a home run, and then Amir Khan hit that home run late in the game to finally get us up to really seal the deal and to get put his head 6-2. So now we improve to 12-0, and, and we are playing the Dodgers up next, y'all. So I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was tense. Let's see if we can make it a bit easier on ourselves next week. Thanks for watching, y'all. Godspeed. <laughs>